to a new video. I've decided today that I'm gonna do... Tim's saying hi. I've decided that today I'm gonna do a day in the life vlog. Who are you speaking to? The vlog. Oh, hi vlog. <laughs> I'm gonna do a more of a day in the life vlog, let's put you a pip, rather than a weekly vlog, just to mix it up a bit and just show you more of a day. Um, it's Thursday today and yesterday, I feel like I've been having a bit of a rubbish week. I feel like during lockdown, these times come and go where you're just feeling better and I feel like we have been going along so well. And I don't know, the past couple of days, it just sort of hit me a little bit more. I'm gonna hold it. It just hit me a little bit more and I was just feeling a little bit down about it. So I thought instead of just keeping on going, I'd have a day off yesterday and just basically not even go on Instagram or anything just to even look at it. I just thought I'd completely separate myself and I'm so glad I did because I actually feel a lot better today. Um, I might at some point try and take a few days off but I just wanted to keep going with the content for a little bit longer and um, yeah, sometimes like I've had that break and sometimes it is just better to, rather than have multiple days off, sometimes it's better to just get back to it. And I think something that my mum always says is like, if you don't really feel like doing it, just keep going, but like not cut corners, but just do it as you feel and don't like stretch yourself to the limits. Cause you can't just keep going, going, going. Yeah, some porridge. Is it ready? Yeah. That was very quick. I put blueberries in it. Can I have some banana in it, please? Ah, uh -huh, it's really hot. <gasps> okay, I need to turn the steamer off then. I was gonna steam. So basically, anyway, long or short of it, I'm gonna keep going with some work, but just kind of do it to my, like how I feel and not exert myself. Cause sometimes in this job, you just feel like you constantly need to be doing better and more. And I just thought, you know what? Let's just keep going as normal, not overdo it and just, plough through. Anyway, I hope that made sense because I feel like that was a little bit rambly. I'm just steaming some clothes actually, but before that I'm going to have breakfast. So usually on a normal weekday now we get up about half seven and then we, let's just pause Jeremy Vine, um, we get up about half seven then we usually have a workout but we've not done one today because we've done three days in a row. So we thought we'd have a day off to today. So we usually do a workout then, shower, get ready, but we've just done that without the workout. Now we're gonna have some breakfast, we're gonna have some porridge, and then we usually put on Jeremy Vine. First we have our coffee. We can't do much without our coffee. I feel like I'm addicted to it now. But we have our coffee, put Jeremy Vine on, and just enjoy that. And I mentioned in my morning routine video not long ago that we've kind of just been taking things slower than we would normally, because we do find that we've got more time in our hands to work, so, or like do, like just do our normal stuff, because sometimes I've got events and things like that, and they often break up the day quite a bit. So now we're finding we've got loads of time, so we just thought we'll slow things down a bit. My porridge ready? Yeah. Mine? Uh, we thought we'd slow things down a bit, and so we're getting up slightly later, etc. And yeah, that's where we're up to this morning. It's what, half 10, something like that. Here's my porridge, bananas, blueberries, honey. Very excited for this. Talking to the cotton. <laughs> no. Porridge has been eaten. And I'm gonna go back to steaming. So I just got these new pieces in. Um, I think it's from a brand, I think you pronounce it Mamie. Um, Mamie. 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 Yeah, where are we? Come on. There, so it's this gorgeous silk shirt which I'm gonna wear for my video that I'm gonna film. And then this kind of satin midi skirt thing. I also just got a dress from H&M, which is like a puff sleeve kind of tiered dress. So I'm gonna start steaming this. Oh, I love steaming like a silky material because it just drops out instantly. pieces are ironed, not ironed, steamed. And I'm gonna curl my hair for the 
video I think. So I'll just prop you up. It'll probably be a little bit backlit because I'm gonna have to put you over there. Um, but you can see a full rendition, what's the, what's the word? Full sort of tutorial on um, what I'm doing on my IGTV. So um, you can head over there if you want to see like exactly what I'm doing. Cause I'm not gonna talk through the steps or anything. So the battery is actually going for this, so I need to charge it whilst I film. But this is my video. This is my video. This is my outfit. Um, let's take you to the big mirror. So I kind of feel a bit 70s in this, but it's this shirt that I've been talking about. Um, camel trousers from Naked Fashion. And then these Zara earrings, which I got quite a while ago now. This is the finished hair. The battery's flashing. The stuff's all ready to go to film a video. I don't know whether I mentioned what video it is. It's gonna be a shoe collection, like a shoe haul sort of thing. So that should be up now. And I'm gonna get cracking with filming and charge this battery. So video is now finished. Didn't make too much of a mess. My shoes are everywhere. So this is gonna be fun, clearing these up. But that is what I shall do now. They need putting away. I've set the camera up over there because I don't know whether to try a different kind of video or IGTV video where it kind of films me in the mirror space. That is pending. That might be something I do this afternoon. Uh, why is this not focusing? There we go. That might be something I do this afternoon, but I'm just gonna sort of see how it looks and things like that. First thing is first, put all the shoes away. before that I've decided we need to do a dark wash. So I'm gonna put everything in the washing machine and why am I breathless from moving around shoes? Um, I'm gonna put everything in the washing machine and yeah, then, then I'll see you about the video. Done. I'm gonna open the windows because it's getting hot in here. Let's open the windows. I usually shut my um, windows when I do videos, but I didn't have sound on that one, so I don't really know why I didn't open the curtain, the window sooner. So all that video is filmed now. I need to edit it all, which is gonna be, well, it doesn't take me too long actually. So I'm gonna edit that. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to sit send him some pictures um, to insert into the video that I filmed this morning for YouTube. I just finished tidying up because obviously when I, well not obviously, but when I do IGTVs, I usually leave a bit of a mess everywhere. So I need to get tidied and get editing cracking on with everything. So I've got just got changed back into some comfy clothes. Got this Topshop ribbed racer vest on and these me and M joggers, which are just so comfortable. I like them because they're kind of cargo style, so they look a bit a bit nicer than normal kind of cotton joggers. So yeah, it comes with a matching top as well, but I thought it was a bit warm to wear that. So I've got this sleeveless one on instead and my slippers and I'm gonna sit down at the desk now. I've got some cold water here and I'm gonna try and crack on with a few things. First, I think though, I need to send him some pictures. Just now uploaded all the clips from my IGTV onto iMovie before I edit them. Um, it's currently 6 minutes 23 and I want to get it down to uh, about just over a minute. So that should be fun. I'm going to take all the sound off it and I'm going to also flip them the right way. That's better. 
and then I flip them back to upload them to my phone and then flip it back again. I've got my afternoon snack here and I've actually just finished the IGTV. <laughs> So you can see that on my Instagram. And now, I don't even ask me what this background is. I've not been, I've not bothered to change it, but it took away my old one. I don't really know what's happened. I'm just going to sort out a thumbnail for tonight's video. Usually I just kind of film it and then take a screenshot from the film and then edit it. So this is it. These grapes are actually so good. They're from the co-op. So I find like a good frame and then work with that somehow. So then I just emailed them to myself so that I can edit them on my phone. I had to put my jumper on as well because it's getting a bit cold. The sun's gone in, so it's gone off the room a little bit. So I got the jumper on, which has got a little bit of a mark on. So I've just chosen this one as my thumbnail and I'm gonna edit in Lightroom. Normally I just kind of take up the contrast a bit. I'm gonna take down the highlight maybe um and usually just warm it up quite a bit that is before and after so not too much of a difference but you can see like it's a lot warmer and i think clearer looking as well and then i need to put some text overlay on it and that's about it i think youtube video is sorted i watched it all through i did the thumbnail i've done all the description box and everything else i needed to do for it and it's scheduled to go live at six o'clock tonight so now i need to edit my instagram picture that's going to go along with this and kind of promote it and yeah then i'm kind of done for the day hopefully it's this time so it'll probably take me mm, 20 odd minutes to edit these final pics so Tim is just nipping to the shop for a few bits because we're meant to be making pasta tonight. So we need a couple of extra bits for it. Um, do we need anything else? Um, get some Diet Coke. You were thinking more wine. <laughs> um, yeah, you could do. Maybe. I don't know. What else do we need? What are we going to have for breakfast or lunch tomorrow? Yeah, we've got eggs. We've got... Get some avocado and feta. Yeah, open these curtains now. I've just been watching a film the rest of the afternoon. Um, and I've finished editing. Ugh. Finished editing my pictures. So that'll be on tonight. Um, what else? Oh, I ordered a new vase for here. It's in, it's going to be like in a terracotta pot. Not, not in a terracotta pot. I feel like I can't get my words right today. It's a terracotta pot, so it should match that chair really nicely. It's from H&M, $25.99, and I think it should fit the cotton in quite well, because I think uh, the diameter's the same, but it's a bit lower, so you might be able to see more of the cotton. So I'm not sure when that's going to arrive, because H&M seem to be a bit slower on deliveries at the moment, but very much looking forward to it. Also, whilst he's gone, and before we start eating, but I'll show you the fake tan I've just used this morning. So, oh, it's this one from Tanologist. Don't know if you can see it that well, but it comes out brown. It's that instant tan illuminator, Insta Glow 24 hour wash off body bronzer. I don't think it comes in a color. I think that is just, unless it's Insta Glow. And I just used this Saint Tropez mitt with it, but I just thought it was so good. You can't really see perhaps the shade, the, the camera doesn't, oh, we've gone blue, that's better. The camera doesn't really pick up on it that well, but I am naturally quite pale. I just needed a little bit of a, um, I literally just put it on my arms and the bottom of my legs because I, I needed to look a bit more bronze for my YouTube video. <laughs> so I popped it on, but I thought it was really good. And so far it seems good. I think it perhaps does need a wash a little bit, but I thought it was a really nice color. Usually I use my Amanda Harrington one, which I absolutely love. I've spoken about that on my Instagram quite a lot. I thought I'd give this one a try because my Amanda Harrington one's running out. So I thought I'd give another one a try, but because it's like an instant, I've got a feeling like as soon as I wash it off, it'll all wash off. Yeah, I'm just gonna see how, we, how, I, how I get on with that, but I thought the color was really nice, especially if you're kind of going on a night out and just want like an instant glow. Not that anyone's going on nights out for probably a really long time, which is a depressing thought. It is weird, it does feel like such a weird time and this week I've just, I don't know, I don't know whether it's sort of hitting me now or 
like because we've been in for so long that it just sort of I don't know gets on top of you a little bit and I feel like that's what's happened this week so yeah it's just it's so weird and I think I think as soon as you start thinking too hot too far ahead into the future that's when you start feeling worse because you think like we don't know how long this is going to go on for it could be years it could be a year i mean we'd love it to be less but we just don't know and i feel like there's so much conflicting information around i think it's just i just feel like how much longer can i continue doing this and living this way because it just feels like we're stuck at the moment as I'm sure you're all feeling as well. It's like this time capsule that we're living in. It's just like stagnant time. It's really, it's really not good for anyone. Like whether you're in a good place or a bad place, I think it's it's just not a nice situation to be in. On that note, I'm gonna put coronavirus daily update on. Um, <laughs> fun times, but I, to be honest, I'll I'll watch the six o'clock news usually, and I'll watch news in the morning, and I'll watch the update. But to be honest, during the day when I'm working, I try and switch off from the news as much as possible. I mean, sometimes you get like little updates on your phone and stuff like that, but where possible, I just try and switch off. Um, but then all of a sudden, it hits you again, and you remember what's going on. So I think it is advisable to just turn your phone off for the majority of the day as as much as we want to stay informed it's one of those that you've just got to balance because i think otherwise you'd drive yourself mad anyway it's 10 to 5 now i'm very excited for my pasta um we're gonna make it from scratch so yeah that is the dealio and what's in your bag Woo! let's have a look see what's in my so bag so this is from a pasta factory which is a local Italian. Obviously they're not open at the moment and they're, oh, is that anchovies? <laughs> yeah, anchovies. So that's the bit I think I'm gonna and leave fresh out. Fresh pasta dough. Ooh, lovely. So um, we're making pasta tonight with them. They've actually partnered up with our building because they're literally down the road. We went there for Valentine's Day actually and it was really good. If you're in Manchester and the restaurants are open again eventually, God knows who when, but um, would really recommend going to the pasta factory and also they've got a pizza place which is right near Paul Noir, Noir Quattro? Noi you, you've been, haven't you? You know. I've been, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but both really good, really recommend. So um, the idea tonight is that they've dropped this off and we're doing like, basically they're it's going on. There's a cook along. So they're going on Zoom. Tim, probably not me, unless you want me to help. Yeah, you can help. You can help. Um, is gonna cook the pasta, but it's not till seven. Is that right? Uh, seven o'clock kickoff. Seven and it's kickoff. <laughs> He's missing sports too much. Compares everything to um, football. So it's 10 to six now, so we've That's still got, hard. yeah. Still got an hour to wait. I'm absolutely starving. It'll, it'll be worth it in the end. But I'll show you us making it, because it'll be funny. <laughs> Let's do this. We're in the chef's kitchen. Literally. <laughs> Everything the chef needs is some wine. Mm. And a professional will tell you exactly what to do.
Mein. Tim. Mein. Tim. Who's this better? It all goes down the same hole. Yeah, but if yours was better, you'd be rubbing it in, wouldn't you? No, this is that's such a lie. We made pastry in my dad's house, but that well, was that was Tagliatelle. They'd already made it. They'd already done the dough, and they had a machine to do it. This was all by hand, so very much looking forward to this. Yeah, it was quite fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, we're gonna enjoy our food now. Have you got me a fork? No. <laughs> you just got yourself a fork. Yeah, I probably would have grabbed one. Yeah. Um, this candle smells a bit too strong actually. And yeah, thanks so much for watching the vlog. I'm gonna end it here. It's not our usual evening eating pasta on a Thursday, making pasta on a Thursday night. But I thought it'd be something a bit different to film and also just a day in the life. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, if you have, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and go and follow me on Instagram. It is at Lady Jane Tomlinson. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.